Another powerful thing that you can do when you're using iPhoto is use this full screen mode. By turning on full screen mode, it takes advantage of your full monitor to view what you're looking at. In this case, I've got the Europe uh, album showing. If I go back to the events, we can see all the individual events also shown here in the full screen mode. Down at the bottom, first of all, you see we can zoom in to take bigger advantage of the screen there or see more things at once. Uh, you can view things by events. We can go back to that by faces or by places and so forth. You know, all of these different ways of viewing your uh, your photos here. You can still expose the info window or the edit window or these other elements here to manipulate your, further, your pictures further. Uh, you can share them to other things. We'll come back to all that later. Walk through different pictures and, you know, this little thing zooms up as you're going. You can scroll through the whole album. It's awful nice to be able to quickly access the entire album there like that. Pick a picture and then manipulate it. Uh, you notice it's already identified that face. It's waiting for me to type a name in there, and we'll come back to that. So anyway, this full screen mode is a very powerful way of taking advantage of the program if you don't need to run multiple programs at the same time.